Hi, this is Simon Chan and welcome to my network marketing training. Uh, members of my coaching mastermind groups can ask me questions or uh, if you need any advice, tips on a weekly basis. And today's coaching question comes from Shi Yu. She says, hi Simon Chan, uh, here's my question uh, for this week. How to introduce uh, my business to people that are older than ourselves, for example, my uncle. Since I found people always more likely to trust older people and teach younger people. By the way, my last week question is how to follow up the previous prospect without letting, letting them feel that you still want to introduce your business or your sauna to them. Thank you very much. So a couple of things. Uh, yes, um, two things about, uh, I know especially in Asian culture, they, they tend to, you know, the older people like to teach the younger people uh, and the younger people have to respect the older. So the one immediate advice if you can do it would be if you have uh, uh, someone in your team that's older, have them present to them. So maybe set up a meeting, right? Set up a meeting where um, you invite yourself, you sell the invite, you edify the person and have the older person present to your uncle. Okay, because your uncle is probably not going to listen to you, but would listen to uh, the older person. Also, uh, even if you don't have an older person, uh, your uncle would, would definitely probably definitely listen to someone that's a stranger more than listen to you. And that goes about edifying and uh, especially the war markets, the family that are close to you. A lot of times they're the most close-minded. They don't listen, right? So it's important to edify and bring a third party, a third party in. Another thing is um, to break stereotypes. One of the easiest way to break a stereotype is to dress opposite of a stereotype. So. Uh, if you're young, young people dress a certain way, older people, they dress a certain way, right? If you want to carry an older image, just dress older. Now, you may not be as cool, uh, but uh, initially it may not be cool because you, know, you don't fit in with your friends who are younger. But once you start dressing older, people start immediately looking up to you a lot more. Uh, your friends will maybe respect you more. It will just attract a lot of prospects as well. And when your uncle will see you naturally, subconsciously, will start seeing you as an older person because you dress differently. Okay, so I would dress the age that you want to. Uh, that's something that subconsciously is deaf. And it maybe doesn't work short term, but over long term, when people see you a certain way, they will start. Um, uh, just, your uncle, for example, will see you differently. Now, in terms of following up with a prospect, previous prospect, uh, this depends whether you have, uh, if you looked at a presentation or not, or haven't looked at a presentation. If you looked at a presentation uh, and the person didn't join before and you told me, hey, I'm gonna follow up with you, I just say, hey, just find out, hey, you know, just say I talked to the person three months ago, hey, I'll talk to Jack, hey Jack, how's it going? I know three months ago you were looking, to, looking into uh, uh, you know, you looked at the, the USANA business. I was wondering if this is something you consider again. You know, or if this is not the right time. I don't want to be pushy. I just want to see if you're, you'd be interested in trying the products or looking at the business. Okay, I'll just follow. And, and the key is to being confident when you ask these questions. Now, someone who uh, had never, was not, who you know, initially rejected you immediately, not interested, I'll bring it up. Have you actually looked, have you actually considered uh, looking to make some part-time income again with my USANA business opportunity. Okay, I will remind them again. And that, the thing is, as long as you're confident uh, and you're excited about the business, um, people sooner or later will become interested. Okay, It may not be one month, two months, three months, maybe six months. And generally, every six months, the business gets easier because, number one, she, you, you'll be more experienced, right? Uh, you'll be learning a lot more. You'd be learning how to prospect better, have more confidence. Um, so you'd be more experienced. Second thing is every six months, uh, people change. So people always in transition. The best prospects are the ones in transition. So what I mean by they could be transition, switching from a job, in between jobs. Um, or for example, you know, maybe they hate their jobs. They want to do something different. So they're in transition, right? Or maybe they were happy before, but they are... Um, now they're moving to a new city and they want to meet new friends. So great, that will is a great way to meet new friends. Or before, maybe they were just happy, partying, but now they get married, you know, they're considering, um, they need money for a honeymoon, then yeah, that's, yeah, they're in transition. Or maybe they're getting married and they're looking to buy a house now. Before, they just want to party, have fun. Now they, they're, they're more mature. They think about responsibility, buying a house, settling down. They're looking for more income. 
right? So the best prospects are ones in transition, looking for a change in their life, do something different. Maybe they're sick of their jobs. And generally, I know in the U.S., uh, every you know people switch jobs every two three years. So if you get a new job, uh, you and you, you get a you know promotion, that person is it going to be interested in network marketing? Probably not. They're probably not interested, right? But six months later, uh, maybe they get a little promotion. They're probably tired of the job. Maybe they will start be looking. And generally, like in the U.S., people switch jobs every two years, but they don't switch. They don't start looking at the two year mark. They start looking about the year and a half mark. Right, the one year mark, they start looking for other opportunities already. So that is, again, these are great prospects, people who are in transition. Okay, so those are a good time to follow up. And the key to following up is to be confident and to uh, be confident, be excited about the business. And the, the key is, why well, I mentioned this, shit this before, it's about confidence and posture. You, they, you, they need you, you don't need them. But you're nice enough to offer the opportunity to give them a chance to get started. So... Um, and if you're desperate about them, no one to chase you, right? Because you always remember, you have tons of other millions of people to talk to, but they need you for the opportunity. But you don't need them because even if they know, there's other people out there. And if you don't believe that, just go to any big convention, big events, look at the thousands of people. That's the way, that's, you know, that's the approach you got to have. The way I saw it is that every one of these thousands of people, they could be in my downline. But I never got a chance to network and meet them because I was so busy with other people. Right? It's a time cost. So all these people who say, no, no problem. I don't need you because the other people are out there. The next she, you is out there. And that guy's be spending time to go out there. They are there. All right. So I hope that helps you. Uh, you're welcome to, you know, thank you again for watching the training. She was a five-star mastermind member and members of my coaching program come ask me any questions they want. So thank you for watching this Simon Chan. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.